6.30. Howdy. About the only expectation I had coming into this project was to get some work done. My ambitions did not make it to reality for this project. However, in working on and photographing our group's activities, I was forced outside of my personal comfort zone in a productive way. One observation I made discussing the project with a neighbor was that when you put sidewalk chalk out in a public space, people of all ages seemed to feel a need to create a message. Most of the messages were positive, and while folks were writing, it gave us the opportunity to discuss the ANA, how the agency assists folks who are resettling into a whole new culture and language, and the various needs of these people that the ANA assists with, such as toothbrushes, cleaning supplies, and many other everyday goods that most of us likely just take for granted. Honestly, I was hesitant going into this project. I feel uncomfortable asking people for money or donations, especially to be given to people I do not know. So I decided to focus on expression rather than oppression. I think this world is full of people who can choose to act good or bad, regardless of where they live. And I tried to promote creation of goodness. Many people are concerned about the moral purity or safety in the United States. But in my own experience, the only people I've personally been threatened by are Americans. My childhood town, Oklahoma City, was bombed by, by an American veteran. I feel that most of the views on refugees in my community are based on what people have heard and not from personal experiences. In this project, I tried to give people an experience. My goal was to help people get out of their comfort zone and actually experience something. We promoted community expression, trying to better local lives, and encouraging aid to others in need of help. The threats we face in the U.S. do not compare to the violence abundant in other countries. I am grateful for this opportunity to help those who are trying to better their lives and escape the dangers they face. When I started digging into this project, I had little expectations. I figured that I would gain some facts and a little understanding about refugee circumstances, but what I didn't expect was that this project would be more human than I thought. I had never really dug into the refugee topic or tried to understand it. I went through this whole project revolving around what I could learn and how I could make someone else understand about the long and tiring process that refugees go through just to get into a safe place. Now that this experience is coming to a close, I feel like it was worthy of my time and effort. I learned a lot about refugees and collected donations to help those who are new to this country and really need the help. What I thought about the project is why. Why help those that are struggling when we have so many here as it is? I saw not much interest in the project, but as we went through, I found it to be actually entertaining and it provided more insight on those that are actually struggling compared to those that we see. And there are plenty that we need to help and this project turned out to be very informal and very something that I enjoyed doing and the group made it even better.